for analysis today. So we're just going to continue off um, yesterday's pairs that we put up in the weekly analysis. And uh, we're going to start off with uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar. So there has been some movement at long last. And uh, basically, uh, the catalyst at the moment has been Chinese blue chip shares, shares hitting a five-year all-time high. Okay, so that's basically what the catalyst is warning for all these gaps up. So different currency pairs are going to be seeing this or reacting to this differently. So for this pair, basically what's happening is we are we have a strong dollar, New Zealand dollar USD. Okay, so it's a weak New Zealand dollar, and we had this hanging man here, but now we've broken above it. Okay, so if we come down to the hour. This area here around the gap is definitely an opportunity to buy. Okay, so quite simply, somewhere in that area, so I want to see if price comes back down here and starts following this trend line further. That's going to be an opportunity to buy. Okay, so uh, this level is pretty much uh, 065353, 065 and the gap is sitting at 065289. So that's Pretty much area that I'd be looking to see what price does. Okay, now a lot of you'll be asking why am I doing that? And all I'm really doing is I'm looking at these inside tails here. See, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's a gap. So that is a buying area. Trend is up. I want to buy off support. That was resistance. You can see how it was resistant, resistance was resisted. So I want to see us come back and test this area and we can dip below it and then start buying again. I'm not too fussy. It's above the moving average. So that is my area for longs. Okay. Um, Euro USD. Look at this massive move to the upside at the moment. Again, pointing to a strong dollar. And what's been happening the last couple of weeks is a question of whether there is, uh, whether there is a strong dollar in play or not. And by the looks of things, strong dollar. So let's come back to the hour. So we are still ranging, but look at this massive move up. Okay, we're coming up to an area of resistance right now, which is right there. So that's one, one, two, eight, seven, four. So obviously what we're looking for is we've got a gap to the downside here. That's quite far away. Um, this little breakout has pretty much gone. That horse has bolted properly. So what are we looking for? We are now looking for a fairly decent area to buy off and there, the only one that we do have right now I'm going to use the blocks here for buying areas is this one here okay so that pretty much erases all of these gains at the moment so that's the closest one we've got the next one that I'd be interested in would pretty much be a breakout and retest over here okay so first area that I'm looking at is 112.530, if we pull back into that area. Okay, second area is going to be a, a retest, pretty much a retest of this breakout if it happens, um, 112.874. So until then, uh, keeping money in pockets, not looking for shorts, uh, not really looking for longs until I get a retest of structure. Okay, shorts from up here, I'm just trying to pick a top, okay. Uh, your shorts should be on breakouts below these levels here. Okay. Anyway, so that's um, Euro USD, pound Canadian dollar, a uh, little bit um, subdued at the moment. So we can see we had the sellers coming off the moving average here. Not much movement happening at the moment, but if we come down to the hour, uh, you'll see we're still pretty much consolidating. So this pair here, I'm still waiting for. I need a break of this trend line. Okay. So let's just move this level down here. You can see there's my inside tail that we are playing with. We're still flirting with that level. So I'd be looking for breaks and retests in this area here. Okay, so price come down, come back into this area for my shorts. So this is 169047 and bottom end of this is 168989. So break out below that, retest and then start rolling. That is opportunity for shorts. Longs, pretty much pick this level right here. So we're going to need a decent breakthrough and then a pullback into structure before we look for longs. Until that happens, I don't see any longs there. 
Um, I'm still of the opinion this move down has been pretty strong. We're going sideways. It does look like a bit of a flag that's forming and we're just sort of going sideways here. So that definitely for me is down, consolidation down. So that's what I'm looking for there. Um, Euro New Zealand dollar. So we have bounced off the bottom here. So remember from yesterday, we have this big weekly wedge here, potential double bottom off a level right now. Okay, so come back to the eight hour. And that looks like it's starting to play out. Okay, so we had this inside bar here. Obviously what we want on the eight hour now is a green bar. And then that would validate a double bottom for me because we've got this um, sort of uh, tail. So basically what's happened is uh, the bulls tried to get going late in the week and then got driven back. But that's an indication that the bulls have got interest here. And they've started again this morning with buying. Okay, I'm still need to clear 173.412. And I also need to clear 174.057. So, in saying that, there is still an opportunity here for a short. The trend was down. But there is a potential that this is going to change direction. So I would not be taking the short here. What I'd be looking for now is a break on the hour above the moving average. So you can see here we broke below the moving average, then tested it, and then continued trend change. That's pretty much what I'm looking for here. So I'm looking for a break above structure. And I don't want to busy this chart too much. So there's our first area of structure. So a break above there, retest. And then the second area, I'm just use this bottom one here is right over there. So break up there and retest. Those are the two areas that will get me along. Okay, 172793 and 172376. Those are the things. Um, would I be looking for shorts up here? We'll have to wait and see. You know, if we do see price starting to roll, maybe interested in it. But I do believe just looking at what I see at the moment, and I mean look how many hours we spent on this level trying to break through and we're just bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. This is starting to look like a bottom to me, okay, with a potential trend change. So with this massive wedge that is forming, double bottom inside the wedge, this is something that I'm still watching. Not really going to be trading this one today, but I am definitely watching it because you know, the minute we start breaking up above this area here, which is a wedge breakout, 175854, we've got quite a massive moves to the upside coming. Okay, a pound Japanese yen. So similar scenario here, we have broken through this level here, retested it, and this is confirmation for me at the moment. So we have a double bottom in play. There it is there, looking for a move to the upside. There is my next level to the upside. So I have a target area of 136168. What am I looking to do? Um, obviously looking to buy. Uh, we'll need to clear, let's use this bottom level here, we're going to need to clear this area here for that to play, take part. So the question at the moment is, why, where is my buying an area? And that is quite simple. There are my tails. Okay. There are my tails there. I want to see a retest of 134.265 to 134.117. I want to see a retest in there. Stop is below the lows here. And I'm anticipating a break up above 134695. And obviously looking for this area up here, which is 136192. Okay, so that's pretty much another long on the card. Euro pound, we're bouncing off the bottom of this channel. Uh, I'm not too convinced about this one at the moment. So um it is bouncing off the channel, but we are coming up below the moving average here. So this could very well just be a consolidation that's happening. And I think that is pretty much what is transpiring. So the consolidation is sitting right over here. Are we top of consolidation right now? Um, the way that we've been trending along this bottom of the channel, uh, I'm still anticipating a break the downside. I don't want to be short from up here. I want to be a short on the break and retest down here. So 0.90. Okay, I want to break out, retest of that, and then that's going to validate shorts for me. Uh, longs, I suppose what we should be doing is looking for a break to the upside of 0903.47. A retest of that area, and we start 
moving back the upside, that's a valid long entry with a stop below here. Um, for me at the moment, this does look like it was a bit of a, a trend change, didn't quite hit the top of the channel. We've consolidated, we're still consolidating here. Massive gap to the downside, pretty strong area of resistance up here. So I anticipate a move back to the bottom of the channel here, possibly to the downside, but at least to come and close gap on Euro pound. Um, and then lastly, pound Aussie dollar. This one is pretty much nothing going on. So tail to the upside, tail to the downside. Let me just zoom in here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, there we go. Tail, 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 tail. Nothing on offer there. Not interested in that. Trend is down. We are at an area of support which we're bouncing around. If we come to the hour, uh, looking at price action, look at this rejection bar off a moving average and probably a level. A level's up there. So I probably anticipate you will get back up to this area here before moving to the downside. Uh, it doesn't really offer me any clear signals at the moment. I suppose that the only one that would really offer me anything clear would be a retest of this area here. Okay, so 179.687 and to the upside, 179.759. That would offer me some kind of um, interest. But look at all these tails. So when you see tails like this, I like to stay away from this stuff. Okay, anyway guys, so this one I think um, I'm just going to ignore completely. There are better opportunities in the other pairs here. Anyway, hope that helps you and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.